It's amazing how children hang on to hope and dare to dream. But we know it's not easy. So many choices, so much life around them. Some need a push, or maybe a hand, a smile, a home. We want them to know we care, to feel our love and understanding, our encouragement. Most of all, we want them to succeed. And with our help, they will. My name is Mohammed. What I do for youth in need is I have a caseload of 11 families where we assist them with what they need in order to be successful in life. They may not know all that they need, but we help them understand the situation, give them advice, give them recommendation. My name is Guadalupe Plaza. I work for Youth in Need Head Start as a home visitor. A home visitor is a facilitator that goes into families' homes. These are families that are eager to give the best education possible for their children. They, uh, the children are eager to learn. My name is Ryan Patterson. I'm the Director of Clinical Services for Quality for Youth in Need, um, which means that I see a small number of youth and families we have a lot of kids who have experienced child abuse, either physical abuse or sexual abuse, or sometimes both. Um, it's, it's very frequent that there is domestic violence going on in the home, which is really detrimental to a kid's mental health, particularly. My name is Pinky Johnson, and for my job, I go into the homes, and I work with the parents to uh, help them learn things they can do to get their children ready for kindergarten. Sometimes when I've come into the homes, there was nothing, no job, uh, sometimes utilities are off. I'm Katie, and I work as a clinical case manager at the shelter, and there are youth that are actually homeless. There are youth that have often been physically or sexually abused. There are youth that um, have parents or themselves that are struggling with substance abuse. There are youth that um, don't trust anybody. They're youth who other people have given up on. And at the same time, they're like any teenager and youth who um, wants to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and wants to be an NBA player and um, wants to be president. Like, they have all those things going on at the same time. My hope for the kids is that they find a place of hope and healing and they create lives for themselves in whatever way makes the most sense for them. Um, I hope they find their passion and their joy and that they pursue it vigorously and that they realize that they're worthy of not having to settle for anything less than exactly what they want. My hope is to empower the parents, empower the child to become, become self-sufficient, not to rely on the resources of the community. Uh, but to give back to the community. I want them to continue to prosper, to continue to go forth, not to stop, to continue to see that they can make it, that they can set goals, and that they can make achievements. I hope that the kids that I meet, um, that come to Youth in Need, that even if they're not ready to make a different choice at that time, that they feel like somebody believes in them, and that somebody sees them differently than maybe their parents have seen them or the world has seen them. These are desperate people and in desperate times, in desperate need, you need to help. The investment in these kids is gonna yield so much for not just themselves and not just for their families, but for their communities. And you know, who knows where the next Mozart is? Who knows where the next great baseball player is? Who knows where the next great father is? And wouldn't it be a crime to miss out on those possibilities? Dreams come from within, more than we are sometimes willing to admit. Those dreams are shaped by our reality. Improve a child's reality, and you'll improve that child's dreams. When I go older, I want to be a dentist. I want to be a props master at a at a big theater someplace. 
I like to be a firefighter. Um, it's a great job to help the community, probably get a chance to save a couple of lives. It's always been a big dream of mine. When I get older, I want to be in the military because I want to serve my country. When I get older, I want to be a doctor because I don't like getting sick and I bet other people don't like it too. I want to be a preschool teacher because I like little kids. I just want to be a role model to others to show that if you do come from a low-income family, you can set your goals high and achieve them. Dreams can come true. Help us unleash the power of potential.